And now it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hook up. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Royal Polaris, the world's finest long-range sports fisher. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup and Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best, Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod Rick Maxa and Corey Sandin and Captain Mark Wish from Pacific Edge and Adam Clark, our amazing app guy, is here, too. This is... The Christmas Spectacular, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. And it's going to be so much fun getting your best takes on the show, having the most fun of all year. Merry Christmas to everybody, and you stay tuned. This is Southern California Sports Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. When I get back to the dock from a fishing trip, I need to get caught up. And your San Diego County Ford dealers have a perfect solution. The Ford F-150 truck with available interior work surface to put your laptop, paperwork, and more. This is just one of the many useful features Ford has built into this amazing truck. Get behind the wheel of a Ford F-150 truck with an available interior work surface. Visit your San Diego County Ford dealer to learn more. They'll be glad to hook you up. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we built the vehicles of the future for everyone. Command the road with built Ford Tough trucks. Gear up and head out in a Ford SUV. Or check out Ford's adventurous new lineup like Bronco, Bronco Sport, and Maverick. Order your perfect truck or SUV built for you by you. Or get big cash back, low APR, and exclusive lease offers at your local Ford stores, where the future is for everyone. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. Rancho Leonero was awarded the Certificate of Excellence from TripAdvisor for four straight years. Especially interesting, most hotels are just hotels, and most people stay in the hotel and go do their activities elsewhere. Rancho Leonero, of course, provides fishing, diving, all activities, all meals, your whole vacation. So the fact that we're so highly rated, we're very proud of it. From picking you up at the airport to dropping you off, literally everything is a turnkey from there. We make it as easy as we can for you at the ranch. From your meals to whether you're going to go fishing or diving or just hanging out by the pool. When you're coming to Ranch Lanero, you are coming to John Ireland's home. I guarantee the best fishing vacation experience in all of Baja. It's unique. There's nowhere that I can think of to get the same experience that you get at Ranch Lanero. Our new reservation phone number is 800-646-2252. 646-Baja. And RanchLanero.com. It's really unique. It is. We're very proud of it. This is Captain Dwayne Diego, Pinnacle Sport Fishing. Visual signs are one of our most important aspects to our charter fishing business. It's the reason myself and all of our crew all wear Costa sunglasses. With advanced polarization technology, Costa is designed to help cut through the sun's glare while providing enhanced color and comfort to help you see more fish. Costa was founded over 35 years ago by a group of fishermen wanting high-performance lenses for every fishing application. Costa has a West Coast-style frame and lens for your pursuit. Check them out at costasunglasses.com. Hookup! Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup, man. This is it. A year. I can't believe it's been a year already. The Christmas Spectacular. This is just... There is no show like this, man. Yeah. Can't wait. And we and, and the band's all here. Yeah, I got Can full. Can you believe house. that? Uh, Corey, good morning. Good morning. Corey, and good morning. Captain Mark Wish. Hey, good morning, and, everybody. And a, and a rare treat, our buddy Adam Clark, the master of our app. Good morning, Adam. Hey, Adam. Hey, good morning, guys. It's great to be here. It's been a long time since I've seen everybody. <laughs> there is no it doubt about that, for <laughs> sure. Right. And so thrilled that you're here. Now, now this is just a small port of our panel of judges. The mm-hmm. world headquarters here is very crowded. We've got, like, a, a dozen people in here that are background judges and of course Christian on the phones uh, and the board there got a lot of judges here that are going to rate the, the Christmas spectacular here and, and, and we have some amazing amazing gifts here uh, for you but first I want to know what's been going on with Captain Mark Wish yeah Santa Claus Wish yeah yeah, yeah once a year here well you know it's been a good year uh, it's been an interesting year a little different um 
Pacific Edge is, uh, you know, we're still pretty much just doing the same things we've done for so many years. You know, we've been in the same location for 31 years now and uh, still kind of 50% tackle, 50% bait tanks. Um, and probably getting really ready to sell the whole thing to somebody, just in case you're listening out there. Yeah, <laughs> somebody who wants and, a beautiful tackle shop and the bait tanks too. Yeah, I want. Yeah, you know the well, best I, bait tanks in the world, uh, without question. Yeah, and uh, you know, a couple of years ago when I was really thinking about it, you know, with the, all the COVID stuff going on and all the crap in the world, just generally speaking, and you know, it, it just wasn't quite time yet. It wasn't quite ready yet. Uh, you know, Chris and I thought through a whole lot of the details of how to do this better, which I really hadn't before. But, you know, it's time. You know, it's it's really time. And, yeah, it's going to be the whole business. It's going to be the whole thing. Wow. And, um, you know, the bay tank business, you know, we build both the poly tanks, which we didn't do much for a couple of years. We're kind of getting back to that. And then, of course, the fiberglass tanks, of which we're always crazy busy. Mm. And uh, it, it, it just, it, it's just amazing. It's just, you know, I know the general economy in the country is a little strange and people are a little nervous about this and that but man those causes keep coming in yeah you know just and thank you people we love you yeah <laughs> we love you oh and, yeah and they truly are the best bait tanks man yeah, it's, they're it, so cool. it's there's a lot that goes into honest to god i mean it's uh there's a lot of things that you do that are overlooked by many how yeah. about that yeah like it's well, just the that. simple things that uh, it takes a lot to keep a sardine alive, man, or yeah, a squid, for right. that matter. Yeah. You know. Well, we appreciate that, Corey. You know, yeah. I always love listening to you talk about all that bait stuff that you, that you've had the history of. Yeah, working in that bait. It's a passion still, yeah. really. You yeah, know? I can tell that. But yeah, so you know, it it, it was a good year fishing for us. Uh, we didn't have that massive amount of tuna like you guys had close by. Um, you know, we had to run a little farther for it. We we did have some up in the channel and around the east end and off the back of the island, and this and that. But not well, quite as not quite as much as last year. But but, <laughs> but we had all those dorados. And oh my like god! Like in your backyard, right in the backyard. That was absolutely insane. Nobody's ever seen anything like that. And then I've never really heard a good explanation as to you know we get dorado up here every year. Nothing sure. new about that. But the massive quantities of dorados yeah. that we had, and not necessarily oriented to a kelp, just out there just swimming around hanging around well Just, you had the best explanation i can remember to why did that stuff stick around in right like in the same spot for so long and you said it was just a bubble of water right yeah a little spot of water uh and a lot of bait a lot, of bait. A lot of bait you know they did not uh, see I, I had a guy named pat trainer many many years ago when i was just a kid and he was a kid but a really good fisherman and he said the fish are never far from the cafeteria and we were talking about marlin you know, back in the day. And uh, that that holds true for, for any kind of fish. You know, they, they eat a whole bunch, especially those Dorados. Those guys eat a lot every day. Sure. And uh, it takes a lot of food to support them. So you give them a, a good food source and a nice little spot of water where it's nice and warm and toasty for them. And they got no reason to leave. Yeah, why leave? <laughs> yeah, yeah, why leave? Exactly, so it's exactly. hanging out. Here's here's yeah. what I find strange is the last seven, eight years with the bluefin and then this, this Dorado deal – is the anchovy stays up, which is so strange because mm -hmm. in, in all of my years I did the chovy thing, as soon as a tuna, as soon as any pelagic showed up, that stuff would end up on the beach like overnight. Yeah. And and you mm. wouldn't see the the massive schools up and staying up and Interesting. actually in the tuna ground, you wouldn't see well, not in the volume that yeah. we've seen in the well, last seven yeah. years. See, that's you know? a, that's the thing. Is, it's kind of strange to me. You know, yeah. there's just like a lot of it. Yeah, you right. know, it's it has to spread out because there's so much of it. I mean, yeah. we haven't seen this much chovy healthy in man a long time. Yeah, <laughs> a yeah. long time back. Good stuff. You know, we got a whole generation of these younger guys. You know, that have never really had to fish with them little things. I mean, can you imagine out there, listeners, a life with no sardines? You know, I grew up. A long time yeah, ago. Yeah, I remember those days. Yeah, fishing with, with yeah. anchovies. Yeah, we're old. We know. We yeah. remember. Yeah. I mean, it's getting to be two generations yeah. because I, yeah. my, my people, my age, we never had like I've had the opportunity to fish with anchovies, but never was it a thing when you know at least when I knew a teeny bit of what I was doing where you had to fish with them. You like had it was, to, yeah. it has always been an option for, yeah. for for me. You know, when when uh, my dad had our first real boat that gave us some legs, and this would be like in the mid late late 60s so it's a long time ago 
and there were no sardines. You you pull up to a bait receiver, you got a couple swings of beautiful anchovies, and rarely one or two sardines. Well, we had found up in the back reaches of Cat Harbor, the you know the Isthmus of Catalina. Cat Harbor is the, the one on the backside, way up in the shallows, a little spot of sardines that was living there, and we would get our scoop of anchovies and then run around and anchor up you know literally in the mud and like 10 feet of water and catch 20 30 40 sardines on lucky joe's okay. so <laughs> really on bait rig yeah little, and they do they actually eat yeah, little eat little them. fry they, they eat them. Them. Yeah. yeah yeah and man we were like styling with our sardines wow. Wow. like know? a dozen Story. sardines right yeah 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 it was just you know and it's like such a different world today where you you know you pull up to one of these bait receivers the and really load up. Yeah, you know, yeah it's just beautiful. Sardines. Bait. So let me ask you this: With that in mind, you designed a lot of your bait tanks years ago. Were they designed for anchovies or sardines? Well, it, it's kind of the same. I is mean, it? obviously the anchovies are a little more sensitive, and, and the real issue there is: see, there was a guy at, at uh, Fred Hall Show many, many years ago who made uh, bait tanks out of trash cans, mm-hmm. and his claim to fame <clears throat> excuse me was his tanks generated vortex flow wait 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 am i remembering <laughs> this right alive and well no this, this was okay i think this was predating him even really okay, okay. Yeah. wow but, but similar it's similar yeah a round tank which is narrower at the, you know the trash cans are narrow at the bottom wide at the top so that promotes sloshing and round <laughs> makes it easy for the current to get going and then his inlet system generated the famous vortex flow. Vortex, wow. the vortex and, and literally flow. his demos, he he would there'd be like a whirlpool in the center of that bay tank. And you know you put poor little anchovy in that man. You got him, <laughs> you got him scaled. You got him scaled in no time. I mean, they'd, they'd beat the crap out of him. Oh, though. yeah. So, you know, obviously we detune that whole system, and and the key is is move a lot of water through. Mm-hmm. You know, a little current helps him mill, obviously. But move a lot of water through. Just don't disturb the bait in the process. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. And and, and the works. exit of the water is the important part too. Well, like, there's I, that too. I, I catch on your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we we just I just uh, two days ago picked up a tank that we're building for a customer who really likes to fish a lot and knows a lot about a lot of stuff. And uh, instead of slots for him, we also do holes for guys that are carrying a lot of squid. They like mm-hmm. holes a lot of times instead of slots. So. His has a whole big series of perfectly drilled out holes, which takes a lot of extra time. But, you know, we're happy to do those things, you know. What's the largest tank you guys have ever built? Um, the, the largest production one we have, I have a mole for a 250. Wow. Ooh. And 250 gallon? 250. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. like a, I think my hot tub is 170 gallons. <laughs> yeah. right? Really? It's, yeah. it's, wow. a, it's a big tank. And, and you know, and, I mean, I like building them because obviously we make good money on it. This is about money. Um, but those those big ones in my shop, they're they're just man, they're a pain in the ass. I'll bet. Yeah, yeah. that's a big that's a big that's old a thing, big man. That's a, yeah, I, I have that's to. It's a move. dining room table you're moving around, yeah. like. and then some. Yeah, I got a special little door area that I have to take down and move a bunch of crap. So to what to does get a two hundred and fifty gallon tank go on? Um. Man, guys put them on stuff sometimes they shouldn't. <laughs> but, yeah. but Parker twenty five, man. Yeah. 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 Strap her down. Yeah. Oh, you you guys ask for sure. <laughs> yeah, but most of those are on like, you know, we got one on like a ninety foot custom hatteras that's down here someplace. And uh, a lot of them on commercial type boats. Sure. Guys building, you know, different commercial things. Um there's uh I forget what it was. God, that guy's eh, I'm having a brain fade. But, um, you know, some of the, the uh, salmon-style boats that sure. they bring down from the, from the northwest, you know, we've got, you know, we've we got them scattered out on, you know, mostly yachts, 65 adders. Yeah, but like you say, you start but, talking about 60, 70-footers with big, giant cockpits, that thing fits in there like a glove. Fits in there, but yeah, we, we sent one to a guy with a 43-foot, God, it's, it's a, uh, is it maybe a Delta, it was, I think maybe a Delta. But a 43. Mm-hmm. Man, a 43 yeah. footer with a, a 250. 250. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted some bait. Yeah. He wants yeah. some bait. Well, that's getting it for sure. Yeah. How about this that's squid thing? I've heard you talking about squid of late. Well, there's no shortage of it. Yeah. There's no shortage of it, man. It's all over out in front of Long Beach. It was like floating right in the harbor at Newport 
uh, right out in front of the harbor there and you know catawina uh, I, I spoke with danny from fish dope just briefly yesterday and uh, he said some new bait showed up uh, right there at hen rock on the front side of catawina so you know all that bodes well there's not really any fish on it yet to speak of that at least that anybody knows of um and, and there's usually not at this time of year you know if it shows up a little later comes up from deep water or in from the outside or wherever it is this time of year but not far away right no I mean, no it's it's close i mean as of a, a couple of days ago we're now getting longer and longer daylight day thank you know. god yeah right yeah. Oh, we're going back the other direction i love yeah. that okay. so speaking of which good squid this year so far i was listening so i was putting together the christmas show uh actually the new year's show <laughs> excuse me salute Second Double time, salute. Yeah. Thank you. And 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 I was listening to Steve Lasley oh, talking geez. about squid. Yeah. And then and also old shows of Bongo Joe Berrien. How and, fun. And, and, and yeah, it's gonna be great. Uh, that's gonna be the New Year's show. Tomorrow's yeah. show has got a bunch of stuff and we'll talk about that too, but it's a recorded show tomorrow and then a recorded show on New Year's Day. Right. But um I mean is that those days were when there was a lot of squid in this time of the year. Is that kind of mean that we're gonna have some good sea bass fishing? Well, at some point, we will have excellent sea bass fishing, yep. And this those year. Things, <laughs> you mean 2022 this 2023. year? 2023. You know, we will. But the, the nature of that sea bass, I mean, that fish is stealthy. Yeah. It really is. And, you know, they kind of come and go on their own schedule and their own patterns. And, you know, we understand some of them. Uh, I, I thought I understood Catalina really well. And then, you know, there was... Some... You wrote the book about it. What are you talking about? <laughs> I did write the book. I did. I did indeed. Thank God. And thank you to all you wonderful people that have bought that book. Yeah. Oh, we like you guys. And still purchasing. Nonstop. Yeah. Nonstop. That's awesome. Great. Nonstop. Yeah, it's awesome. But yeah, a lot of, some of those Catalina patterns changed for a few years. It, you know, it was not good for a few years. And then last year, the year before, you know, got picked up again. A lot of big fish last year. And then you know what was it six eight years ago we had a lot of squid on the beach mm -hmm. in different places they had a lot of fish on it you guys had some stellar fishing down mm -hmm. here but you know last few years not so much yeah yeah where to go yeah catalina maybe cortez bank somewhere you know rodriguez dome we don't know an awful lot which is so wild you know i mean a fish about that's those fish that so much effort is put into with you know hatchery programs and so much research from different awesome organizations and still that's a fish that you just have to scratch your head at most of the time yeah and, you know where is it at why isn't it by does, does its own thing yeah what's really crazy and i and i've asked some people that should have this answer and and they didn't have a real good one for me but if i was let's just say you know this was back in april you know when the fish are typically biting and if somebody wanted me to go out and make a catch of eight pounders you could catch a 48 pounder easier than an eight pounder where are all the little sea bass the little ones yeah, yeah. interesting yeah you, you just you, you know when the sea bass started coming back and when i worked with leon and he designed the famous 800 xl yeah <laughs> that was made for sea bass it was yeah, we we had the L and M and H, and I said, Leon, we need one with a little lighter tip because a lot of those fish were fishing lighter lines, small wedge heads. I love that rod. Shallow. Yeah, yeah it's such fishing. a great rod. And uh, but most of what we were catching, and, you know, we were catching a lot of fish. I mean, there was no shortage of fish. They were, they were coming back like gangbusters, but they were all little ones, like eight to fifteen pounders. Man, you had a twenty pounder. It's like whoa, check that thing out. You know, today. I'm, Nobody even looks twice at a 20 right. pounder. Yeah. It's like, no, it's not 40. Well, yeah. you know, yeah. yeah. So, and, and where all that smaller fish is gone with the population that's supposed to be recovering, I don't know. Yeah. I, you know I wonder if, uh, you know, the El Nino period we had, the five years worth, I wonder if that stuff was like down the coast of Baja on the beaches and it, stuff. It you know? might have been. Could've and been. typically, I think. Could have been. I mean, yeah. I'm, right. I think recruitment in those El Nino years is typically good. So there should be, yeah. you know, good spawns. Or, or up north, anyway, you know, well, see, maybe that's, Frisco. That's the other thing. See, back like 100 years ago, or maybe, yeah, over 100 years, right around the 1910 or something like that, San Francisco had a commercial fishery for white sea bass. I think they call it like a million pounds. Wow. Oh, my out God. Out of Frisco. Wow. Yeah. Back so it back could then. happen. So it could be that this, you know, with the way our water Cycles. patterns are changing. I mean, look at... All those blue fins here, and yeah. things are a little different down below. And, you know, I mean, the world's changing. Yeah. So, 
Maybe they're going up that way. Well, as you can hear, we have a great show lined up for you today. We have a lot of people that want to participate in this Christmas spectacular. And Ricky, give us the Dude. give us the rundown of the prize so, this year. So different this year in that oftentimes we have what I would say is a grand prize amongst a bunch of great prizes. That is not the case this year. They are all grand, grand, grand prizes. And, like, and I, I, I want to thank all of our sponsors, too. all the people that contributed to these uh, prizes. Thank you very much. But likely the most impressive list we've ever had. Yeah, you Be- think? I, I, I do think so. And you're going to hear why. I'm going to read it in just a sec. But the thing that blew me away is there were so many of them that, like, you, you have double and triple prizes mm-hmm. for one person. And... Any one of those three would be a grand prize. Sure. So, yes, let, let's run down the list. An amazing group of prizes. Thanks so much to everybody who made that happen for the Christmas Spectacular. And thanks so much to you for listening because that's what really makes it happen. So here is the list of prizes given away today at the end of the show, first of which the, the Absolute Anchor, a brand-new Shimano Torium 20 HG Reel. Somebody's going to get a brand-new Torium at the end of the show today. Uh, the next prize is a hand, this might be my favorite, hand-picked surf fishing kit by Bill Varney at surffishtackle.com. The kit includes everything you need to go surf fishing except for a license. It includes a five-piece, eight-foot uh, surf fishing travel rod. that You can have an eight-foot rod that easily stows in your car. Uh, an Akuma matching reel loaded with a uh, six-pound Cajun Red Mono. A complete surf fishing tackle kit loaded with all the grubs, sinkers, hooks, and more that Bill picked out. You're going to get Bill Varney's book, uh, a surf fish ID card, and the 2023 uh, CCA Sport Fishing Calendar. That's all one prize. That's one prize. Yeah, rod, reel, tackle, yeah. Thanks tackle Thanks to box, Bill for putting everything. that together. Super That's cool. Awesome. Uh, next prize is a one-year full access membership to YourSaltWaterGuide.com. That's a $525 value. Awesome, and thanks, Dave, for that. Next one, an Anza knife combo, including the popular Anza fillet knife and an awesome handmade flix, uh, fixed blade skinning knife. That was one I was talking yeah. about last week. Those love, awesome. love that knife. It's, it's all we use in the kitchen right now. Uh, next, so that's two Anzas. That's going to one person. Yeah. Uh, the next prize, a $75, $75 gift card to your choice of either Dana Landing, East County Bait and Tackle, um, and Lemon Grove, or, and or Lemon Grove Bait and Tackle. You're also going to get a uh, Jerry Taggart autograph Graph Chumming flag, and you're going to get a pair of Costa Del Mar sunglasses. Uh, it's the Rinconcitos, the exact Here's pair that I have. Favorite. I have yeah. them as we speak. They're on top of my hat uh, in the same exact ones. Matte, uh, matte gray frame, blue mirrored lens, awesome price. So again, that's seventy five dollar card and the Chumming flag and a pair of Costas. That's one prize. That's one prize. Next up, Fisherman's Landing tackles giving away a hundred dollar gift card and the much coveted Nomad Mad Mac trolling lure. That's courtesy of Fisherman's Landing tackle. And with that, you're going to get an MC swim bait kit that was hand picked by Corey. Pete lifted up the box. Like, Dude, yeah. it's a box. It's, it's a box full. It's like the perfect Sadros kit. You know, it's, it's like, like, like 150 yeah. bucks for the, the next bait, right? it's, sol- it's just over 150. Yeah. Holy so 150 God. solid. Wow. Yeah. So you're getting a $100 gift card. You're getting a Mad Mac that you can't find and a $150 kit with a swim bait. That's, again, that's one prize. Jeez. And then last but certainly not least, a second uh, $75 gift card option. Again, that's to Dana Landing, East County Bait and Tackle, or Lemon Grove Bait and Tackle. And you're going to get a $50 gift certificate to Cal's Custom Reels. And you're going to get a full day trip on board the San Diego at a C4 Sport Fishing. I, I just, man, what do you say, man? Prizes. Awesome. Very, yeah, awesome. very cool, Pete. So, again, we're going to have a great show. So much to go over today. As you know, give us a call this morning, 213-432-1090. It is always a hugely popular show. Not the easiest one to get in, but we got two hours of taking your phone calls. Again, 213-432-1090, or text the show. The text the show option, huge popular, only available through that Let's Talk Hookup app. Thanks to Adam sitting right next to us. Yeah. And make sure that you include your contact info when you send us a text, because we will be reading texts throughout the show. we got a lot of great phone calls coming your way. going to be a lot of fun. When we come back, we're going to be taking those calls and texts. You stay tuned. You're listening to Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. This is Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. 
This is Pete, and I hear it all the time. That Jim and Mary at Poway Valley Collision are amazing. I took my car to Poway Valley Collision, mentioned Let's Talk Hookup, and they gave us VIP treatment, fixed our car, and even gave us a special price. Believe me when I say Poway Valley Collision is worth the drive from anywhere in the Southland. At some point, your car will need a body repair, and I'm confident in saying it pays to go to Poway Valley Collision. Our listeners can save hundreds of dollars on your next car or truck repair. They work with most insurance companies, including Auto Club, MetLife, Wawanisa, and more. All you do is call Jim, Mary, or any of their team members, and they do all the rest. No hassles, just top-notch work and VIP treatment. When you take your car or truck to Poway Valley Collision, the job and experience will be top-notch. Get it fixed right at Poway Valley Collision. 14211 Garden Road in Poway. Check PowayValleyCollision.com. Long range fishing, nothing beats Shimano. Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle, the saltwater tackle professionals. Come check out the Shimano Talica, the pinnacle of lever drag two speed reels. The Talica features Shimano's Hagani body when throwing jigs. The Shimano Trinidad is your top choice. With the extreme cranking power and Shimano Super Free Spool provides extreme castability. You'll be able to put your jig in the Wahoo Zone. For all your Shimano needs, visit us at Fisherman's Landing Tackle at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. The name that stands out among anglers is Fisherman's Landing, your top choice in local and long-range fishing. We offer the finest open party trips from one to three days, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet. Fisherman's Landing offers half-day trips on the Dolphin and full-day trips on the Liberty. Many trips can be easily booked online at Fisherman'sLanding.com. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Hey, this is Rosie with Cedros Sport Fishing. We have always been the leader in fishing trips to Cedros Island. We have set the bar even higher with our second lodge opening for the 2022 season. Side-by-side lodges sitting on the cliff's edge with relaxing ocean views. With direct flights departing through the CBX in San Diego, we are committed to providing first-class service to our guests and an unforgettable fishing experience. Come check out the Yellowtail and Calico Bass Capital in the world. Nobody does it better than Cedros Sport Fishing. Call me at 619-772-7570 or check us out at cedrosportfishing.com. Safe travel should always include travel insurance. This is Bob Dawson at Dawson & Associates. We offer many different plans, from one-year plans to single-trip plans. Traveling twice or more a year, an annual plan will cover most every trip that you make. Also, if you get injured on a trip, it'll fly you back home or fly you to a hospital of your choice, and it's worldwide coverage once you're 100 miles from home. So call me at 619-990-3068 or go to safariglobaltravel.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk. Corey and I both looked at each other like, all right, who's supposed to, who's supposed to say something? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that the time has come. Let's jump into the phones hey, you and got uh, it, man. get some takes rolling here. Well, uh, as you, you know, we and it, should, it's been very, very busy. It, it has been. just informed us. Yeah, uh, yeah. And we should say, too, that as always, the uh, number one prize does go to the best take of the show. We've said it before that it's lots of things over the years. It's been songs, it's been poems, it's been hot tips, it's been What's gear. the number one prize? I don't know, dude. I don't, I don't know. How, I don't know how we do that. We'll we'll figure that out somewhere. You know, yeah. close your eyes and point to the paper, man. Yeah, so yeah, yes. it's gonna yeah. be a great show. Lots yeah. of fun. One more time, if you want to join us, two one three four three two ten ninety. Let's start it off this morning with a great friend of the show, our buddy Dave, who's calling us from Anza this morning. Good morning, Dave. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning, everybody. Got a short song for you, so here goes. Yellow tail, yellow tail, bluefin all the way. Oh, how much fun it is to fish when they bite like yesterday. Riding on a swell, on a big sport boat so fine. Now the captain says, go out as trolling time. He glances down upon his side scan fish machine. It's all lit up, the yells, bait a big sardine. Oh, fish on the bow, fish on the stern, it's hot along the rail. Look at this, I landed me a trophy yellow tail. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hey, yeah. Merry Christmas, Dave. What a traditional start. Yes, indeed. Awesome, All Dave. All right. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate the call this morning, and Merry Christmas to you. That's cool. How about next up, we talk to Steve. Steve's calling us from Lucadia this morning. Steve, good morning. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning. Merry Christmas. Thanks, I've Steve. put together a little ditty this year, and uh, being a pseudo-bilingual gringo, 
I decided to try and make all the words using Spanish phrases combined with English. So stick with me. I think you'll be able to figure it out. Gas prices so high would be really cool to win the Super Lotto. Glad to make a three-mile run to play with some Dorado. LP8, LTH fishing trip to Cedro Isle was inigualado. Corey's Red Viejos 8 was viciously comeado. With a 60-pound wee sea bass, Justin was asombrado. The fish was delicious when lovingly cooked in a style adobado. Our Governor Gavin has shown once again that he's a true desperado. He signed it to play 30 by 30. No votamosado. Our rights to fish are constantly under attack. Molestado. You really should make support CCA your number one favorite motto. Without CCA, we anglers would be completely fregado. Merry Christmas. Hey, yeah. Merry, yeah. Christmas. Good job. Merry Christmas, Steve. Merry Christmas to you. Very good. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Now, I want to say that keep trying uh, the lines. There's uh, Christian has said that our, How our many? engineer How said many? hundreds. I'm just going to say hundreds, like, like 600. Uh, yeah. People are trying to get through it at one, at time. one time. So that's that's uh, so uh, keep trying. Yeah. That's all I can say. And and don't give up because that's it. Uh, you'll you'll you might be that guy that gets through. Totally. So, yeah. I had a fun text that I wanted to read, and I thought it was a great uh, a great text and a fun story, and it's a perfect example of a quick one uh, that's lots of fun, and it was from Mark in Oceanside. He says, good morning, uh, Pete, Rick, Corey, and Mark. I wanted to share a quick 2022 fishing highlight. My buddy and I both went out with Captain Mike Totterd and the Searcher crew for a two-day bluefin or bus trip in August. The first night, we had a double hookup both fighting our fish for close to an hour before getting the beauties to hit the deck. They came on board back to back and both through the, uh, and once we went back to the dock, our fish weighed in at 173 and mine was much larger at 174. So he had to buy breakfast. Both fish were our personal best and thanks to everything you guys do and the info you provide for the hookup family. Merry Christmas from Mark in Oceanside. Oh, very cool. nice. Very Great nice. And, and you know, and I got another nice uh, text here and this one's from uh, Dave in Burbank. Uh, a little long, so trying Keep, keep it abbreviated, but I'm going to abbreviate a little bit. But it was just such a great example of a guy that listens to Let's Talk Hook Up and then takes the people that uh, that that talk on the show to heart and goes fishing with them. And uh, he says, I, I um, he says, what a great year we had on the California coast this year. Every year it seems like it gets better. Took a four day trip aboard the searcher, headed down the beach fishing kelp patties. Got my personal best yellowtail pulling up on the next patty only to better it. All the boats in San Diego were booked in the fall. So I took a chance and booked a trip with Rosie at Cedro sport fishing, all the calico bass and yellowtail you could want catching 12 species of fish, excluding bait fish limits of Dorado every day Four white sea bass the year it was just unbelievable golden spotted bass everything he says thanks for the fishing knowledge and insight let's talk who bit hookup has given me so awesome that's man. a that's a that's a great text love and it. that's we love hearing that kind of stuff that people are are listening and going fishing and finding yeah, success sure. and, and finding success and so that, again? that was that was dave in burbank so thanks a lot, Dave. Yeah, right Appreciate on, Dave. that very much. All right, well, let's jump back into the phones. This time we're going to talk to Arnie. Arnie's calling us from Vista this morning. Good morning, Arnie. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning, Ricky. Hey, how you guys doing today? I have got, up, Arnie? I'm trying to do something a little shorter than I normally do. So here we go. The start of 2022 had anglers feeling blue. No Fred Hall shows. No day at the docks. What were we to do? PCS was a bright spot in the gloom. What a great time. And for 2023, it's just going to bloom. Anglers had to be patient, waiting to get the new gear. Thanks to people like Fisherman's Landing Tackle, their sales all made us cheer. Thought gone forever. Yes, it's been saved. The hall shows are back. And as all of you know, it's once again a whale of a show. CCA Cal put on so many events without a glitch. Things went so smooth, Chris Ratchadere even managed to get hitched. You had to be stay up to have a chance for a bluefin in hand. The captains and decks would say you can catch up on your sleep on land. Here's my wish for everyone who bites, hikes, fishes, or hunts. There are people who want to do us dirty. Please join CCA and help us fight against the dreaded 3030. Merry Christmas. Happy Fishy New Year. God bless you guys. Now I'm done. No. 
Nice job. Yeah. 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 Very good. Yeah. It was really good. well done. Yeah. Really, really well done. And uh, hey, uh, let's find out what's biting down in the Baja. You got it, buddy. Let's let let uh, let us do that. We got the cast man standing by. Richard Castaneda from Cast Tours is on the line. Buenos dias, cast man. Yes, man. Hey, Feliz Navidad to all the pescadores in the Baja and the Southern Baja and SoCal and all over the world. But, uh, oh, man, it's been a heck of a year. And, uh, you know, that fish down in San Jose del Cabo will continue to bite. Uh, you know, uh, Mark was talking about the Dorado bite up here. It's been an incredible Dorado season uh, down in the Southern Baja from Loreno, Mulahe, all the way down to Cabo and around the tip. And can you imagine all the way up the Pacific coast to so- SoCal, the, the body of, of 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 Dorado that are, are around? And there's, I mean, really good quality fish. Uh, not those little dinks and you know, those little five, six pounders. I mean, there's some quality fish being caught right now. Uh, and, of course, in San Jose del Cabo, too, those Wahoo are still, still there, still on the chew. And, you know, we hit them really well on our – annual wahoo rumble down there and probably the best wahoo season that uh, we've ever had over the geez, 15 20 years we've been doing that tournament down there uh the tuna uh tuna have come back in now and uh they're hitting them at the local banks there at the iman the san luis and vino rama areas uh, most of the fish you know 15 to 30 but they're uh, they're pulling some 16 17 i'm sorry 60 70 or 80 80 pound fish out occasional there but uh some great fishing of course the marlin the striped marlin are coming in big numbers. Most of the action right now is on the Pacific side of Cabo, up to, uh, toward the uh, Golden Gate Bank, but uh, those fish will start moving down as we get into the um, late winter, springtime. They'll start moving down into the, uh, San Jose del Cabo, and then they move up into the East Cape area. But uh, anyway, just a big Merry Christmas to everybody, and um, I'm, I'm waiting uh, for my boy Kenny Roth to come in, to call in his uh, this Christmas jingle because he's always, always oh, up yeah. there. Ken, huh. as long as Ken can get through, man, it's always it's always a good one. I'm with you, Cass. I'm hey, Cass, man, for that one. Merry Christmas to you. I guess you said that the Loretta Rumble is officially sold out, right? It is. It is. It is. It is done. And like I said, but it's not. Uh, I've got people on the wait list. You know, that between now and then, there's stuff that can come up, and people have to back out of the thing. But. Uh, we do have a, a good standby list, and um, but uh, it should be another hoot. Yeah, it's going to uh, be a great time, and I'm always looking forward to fishing a lot with you in 2023, Cast Man. You're amazing. Merry Christmas to you and the girls. Do such a great job at Cast Tours. How do we get a hold of you if we want to book a trip with Cast Tours? Yeah, yeah. One more thing, and Corey, I'll see you January 26th for the El Salto trip. I'm looking forward. Which to is that. also sold out. Yeah, <laughs> which is yeah. sold out. And yeah. anybody that's going, bring some gamakatsu, three aught, eighth of an ounce weighted swim bait hooks. Oh. I'm bringing a few four inch uh, okay. for everybody. So. All right, very good. That's my. Yay, all Christmas. right. Hey, Santa Claus, you're playing. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. Very all good. All right, man. I'm there. <laughs> Merry Christmas right, to you, Cass. You and the, and the great girls at Cass Tours. And now uh, we'll talk to you uh, next Saturday. You got it, man. I'll be there. All right. Take care, Cass, man. Thanks very much. Hey, uh, before we jump back on the phones, I, a real quick question. It's not really a take on the on what we're doing here, but but it's a good one. He says, uh, Donovan and Murrieta wants to know, do you make a small portable live bake tank on wheels for pier and lake fishing? Which, not a bad idea, right? Uh, yeah, it, that's not a bad idea, but that's not, not what we do. Right. And um, is there such a thing? Y- you know, I I don't know honestly. I've, yeah. I've not seen one, and I could see with you know as popular as some of the pier fishing is, like sure. Huntington Pier. Those guys are out there fishing sharks all the time, and uh, yeah, a little portable thing like that would probably work out well. But uh, no, that's not what we do. Not, not, but it's yeah. a great idea. Yeah. All right. Very good. Well, it's plenty plenty simple to have those aerators that yeah, push air sure. into the water but a recirculating thing would be difficult to get the water from the all the way you know pumping it all the way uphill to the yeah. you know from up up to the pier would probably be your difficult a lot thing, you yeah. know like yeah that take a lot of power i mean there's you know there's all kinds of killer little portable generators and 12 volt things you know now that can run like pretty substantial stuff but like that's a that's a long ways uphill to be pushing water to, yeah. to get up there yeah for sure well let's jump back in the phones rick you got it hey this time we're gonna talk to uh sean sean has called us from lomita this morning good morning sean welcome to let's talk hook up Hey, hey, good morning, guys. I got one for you. Okay, so there's this guy who lives in Phoenix, and he calls his son who lives in New York. Son picks up the phone. Yes, Dad? He goes, oh, son, I got news for you. 
your mom and I are getting a divorce. He goes, what are you talking about? You've been married for 45 years. We can't be near each other. We're divorcing. He said, uh, don't do anything. I'm going to come see you guys. Well, first call your sister in Chicago. She calls her sister and says the same thing. Mom and dad are getting divorced. She says, what? She calls dad. What is this? Are you going to get a divorce? He goes, yep. We're going to living together. Just, we can't be near each other. She says, don't do anything. I'm going to come down there and see you guys. That, uh, the husband gets off the phone, looks at his wife and says, looks like we got them both to come to care for Christmas now. <laughs> okay. I didn't know where that was going. That's a take. Right? Yeah. yeah, it's a take. Merry Christmas yeah, to thanks, you. Sean. Thanks, Sean, for the effort. Appreciate that very much. Now, I'm not saying that I disliked it. I'm not saying that. Yeah. But I was so excited that I thought we were going to get to use the buzzer. Um, but I thought like, I was waiting. Oh, but that, I was coming. I was ready to but give the, the hand signal. But at the same time, like, I had to hear the punchline. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, you knew it was coming, but, like, I was, I'm not going to lie, my finger was getting. My trigger finger was getting real itchy looking for that buzzer. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Sean. Merry Christmas. All right. Let's try it again. You got it. How about Rich calling us from Bradley this morning up next on Let's Talk Hook Up. Rich, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Merry Christmas, guys. I'm going to you save too, you from a, a jingle or a poem. I've got a conservation tip. Um, you know, we've learned from Bill Varney and uh, Gundy Gunderson and even Mike Gardner to take some of the uh, freshwater techniques and gear to the to the salt, and I'm going to reverse that for you. Um, a conservation tip for, for bass fishermen is to use a descending device for, for largemouth bass, especially this time of the year. And where that really comes into play, you can catch a largemouth bass sometimes from 20 feet to the surface in the summertime and release them with no problem. But in the wintertime, sometimes when you're catching them at 20 feet, they're coming up from 45 feet from you. So when you jerk them up from 20 feet, they're they're having to readjust from that other 20 feet that they came up from 45 to 20 feet to feed. Yeah. So when you... When you catch these largemouth bass, there's a lot of guys like me that want to catch and release because uh, it's a, a, Christmas, a Christmas gift all year for the future. All right, that's that's good good yeah. 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 It, it, it yeah, applies to freshwater bass. bass as well as rockfish. Yeah, no, and, and he, he's you know he's so right this time of year, especially you know catching them on spoons and things like that deep. And a lot of those guys will use those fizzers where they you know push a little hollow needle into them. Ouch. But but Ouch. I've always heard by so many people that like you really need to know what you're doing to not damage the fish that way. Like okay. sure. They're going to go back down, but you know you don't know. They're going to die of an infection. You don't know probably. what kind of damage yeah. you did to it. You know, I mean, it takes somebody that really knows where to place those things to, you know, to to allow that air to to leak out of there. And, and a descending device causes no damage. I'll tell you something that works very well. It's the marker buoy that every freshwater guy has with a four to five ounce sinker. Slide it in the crusher. Slide the fish down. Pull the sinker out. Done. Done. There fish go. fish goes down, there no harm, no foul. That's yeah. what Didn't poke any holes in them. Done. That's a good call. Yeah. All right. I like it. Hey, great tip, Rich. When we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. More of your phone calls, more of your texts, and your catch ports, too. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Hi, I'm Bart Hall, and I'd like to invite you to share your passion for outdoor recreation at the 75th anniversary celebration of the Hall Family Shows. Join us at the Bart Hall Show February 16th and 19th at the Del Mar Fairgrounds and the Bart Hall Show March 29th to April 2nd at the Long Beach Convention Center. Acres of fishing tackle, boats, marine accessories, international hunting and fishing lodges, hundreds of seminars, and a full day of real family fun. But while you're at our shows, you need to stop by the Coastal Conservation Association of California to find out what you can do to stop the unnecessary ocean closures within the California 30 and 30 campaign. It will restrict your access to sport fishing in the ocean probably forever. All we want as anglers is a voice in the process. Environmental extremists are shutting us out. Join thousands of other California anglers and become a member of CCA Cal. Check CCACal.org. Your vacation bucket list can't be completed without visiting the Katmai Lodge, Alaska this summer. A world-class wilderness fishing paradise on the banks of the famed Alagnac River. Get in the action fishing for all five species of Pacific salmon. King, sockeye, chum, coho, plus trophy-sized rainbow trout. 
Arctic Grayling and Dolly Varden, both in the Alagnac and nearby waters. Cap My Lodge's Coast Guard and CPR certified guides are fly fishing fanatics and know how to help you reel them in, ensuring your days are fish filled while you enjoy freshly prepared snacks and barbecued lunches on the river. Back at the lodge, enjoy fireside appetizers and refreshments each afternoon. Delicious dinner prepared by the lodge's exceptional chef. Take a quick fly out trip to Brooks Falls in Katmai National Park for world renowned bear watching. And check out our trout fishing specials at katmai.com. That's K A T M A I.com. Katmai.com. The lighter the bite and the cleaner the water means one thing. We need a thinner leader for more natural presentations. That's where Seaguar Gold Label Leader Material shines. It's Seaguar's thinnest leader material yet. That means it's even less visible underwater and creates more natural presentations for better catch rates on leader shy fish. With exceptional knot and tinsel strength, this advanced leader material is now available from two pound test for fishing trout in the Sierra to 80 pound test for big yellow fin in Guadalupe. Get Seaguar Gold Label at your favorite tackle dealer or learn more at Seaguar.com. Great fishing is what Seaforth Sports Fishing in Mission Bay is all about. With free parking and fully stocked tackle shop, Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Apollo, Outer Limits, Elgato Doe, Pride, Polaris Supreme, Tribute, Pacifica, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half and full day trips available. Seaforth Sport Fishing. For charters or schedule, check SeaforthLanding.com. Run by fishermen for fishermen in Mission Bay. It's time for the Power Pro 30 Second Seminar. I like catching big fish and I like smaller reels too. How do I make sure that I have the capacity to land the big one? I fill my reels with Power Pro Max Quattro. It's 25% thinner than standard Power Pro, so you get more line on that small reel. Power Pro has a complete series of highly effective lines, including the brand new Power Pro Depth Hunter Offshore with different colors every hundred feet. Perfect for flat fall fishing. Want to learn more? Check PowerPro.com. Hook up! Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up. Having a great time here. This is not a surprise. The phones are still very full. Very full. And now we're, <laughs> I guess we're over a thousand. So, yeah. So <laughs> keep, just keep trying. That's Because it's going to open up. So let's, let's let's open up a line right now. You got it, man. How about this time we open up with Ralph? He's calling us from Menifee this morning. Ralph, good morning. Thanks for joining us on Let's Talk Hook Up, buddy. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, boys. Uh, Pete, Rick, Corey, Mark, Adam, and uh, the judging team. Hey, I just have a quick comment and a tip. My comment is nice. uh, there is nothing like a talk hookup out there. The, the the level of access that you give us to the professionals each week and the, the, the sense of community we have here is just, it's amazing. So that's my comment. And then uh, my tip is an environmental tip, uh, and it's, uh, it'll help you do good for the environment and make you feel good at the same time. Um, we all know those beautiful purple uh, – bags that crown royal comes in well they make excellent reel covers if you know what i mean yeah no yeah. doubt yeah, yeah. Nice. it is filled many <laughs> filled many reels in the old tackle store that came out of a crown royal bag <laughs> yeah yeah for sure it makes That's you think it. of jack yeah right yeah, totally <laughs> Yeah. Hey, thanks a lot. Merry call, Christmas buddy. to you. Yeah. Merry Christmas to you. Hey, here's a here's a text from John at Mira Mesa, and I hope I don't blow it, John, because it's really a very clever limerick here. Oh, okay. uh, it's uh it's the ode to Corey Sandin. Hey. Oh, All right. Boy. There once was an angler named Corey whose legend spawned quite a story. Hanging bass one by one became way too much fun. Now MCs are what he's pouring. I love it. There you go. And that was who? Yeah. Who was that? That was Pretty John. Cool. John from Mira Mesa. I like Thank that. You, John. Yeah, very well done, John. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you. And I hope huh. I didn't blow it too bad. That no, <laughs> was awesome. All right. Yeah. Well, why don't we grab a phone call? How about this time we talk to uh, Chuck? Chuck is calling us from Dana Point this morning. Chuck, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Hey, you guys. Merry Christmas. And let me ask you one question. Uh, is Wyatt getting a Zebco or a Talca? for christmas <laughs> <laughs> i don't think talica this year yeah. we're still uh we're still mastering the <laughs> rod and reel bathtub toy set and once he's got that thing <laughs> once he's got that thing dialed we're going straight to a custom rod but we're uh we're we're working oh, on it we've got that plenty that of uh plenty of fishing related <laughs> bath toys i can promise you that yeah i got one of the hogan's a little uh light up Rebco for the bathtub for my grandson pretty funny That's awesome. but i got a little poem for you guys here we go uh, give a man a fish, feed him for a day. Teach a man how to fish, get rid of him for a weekend. 
Show them Seagulls <laughs> Island. Get rid of them for a whole week. <laughs> Stay fishy, San Diego. Love you guys. Love the show. Thanks for putting me on. Oh, <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. All right. Very Appreciate good. Appreciate it, buddy. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Appreciate that. Have Let's jump one. back Have into it. You got it, buddy. How about this time we talked to Matt. Matt's calling us from La Mesa this morning. Matt, we called you out a couple of times because I know yeah. I bumped into Matt at the tackle store, and he said he was ready for it. So Matt he works all year for this moment, right? That's right. All right. You're on, Matt. Good morning, boys. I got a little, little uh, ditty here called It's a Wrap. Ho, 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 and here we go. COVID came, COVID went. Grab your rods. Let's go get bent. Santa Mark, Santa Rick, Santa Pete, Santa Corey. Now, there's some boys who can tell some stories. 2022 is all but done. 2023 will be so fun. Cliff from Will Lakewood, we miss you so. Thank you for your contributions to the show. So don't be sad this time of year. The boys are here to spread some cheer. So as always, thank you so. Merry Christmas and ho, ho, ho. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Job, Matt. Matt. That's, that's you're, awesome. You're awesome. Buddy. Yeah. That, one's yeah. <laughs> that one's up there. Yeah. That one's up there. I mean, you know, he must, when he's driving that FedEx truck, it's like work on poetry all the right? time, right? Well, Is that I mean, true, you know, you got to be, if you work for FedEx, you got to be in the Christmas spirit. You got to be. I know be there's a the lot Christmas. of boxes. Like, uh, so yeah. I said that we got to see Matt just, bo- you know, the week before, which is why I got to say that. And let me tell you, that dude was. He was putting in some work, man. Awesome, yeah. <laughs> he was counting yeah. down the days. And boy, do we appreciate you guys, all you guys at uh, FedEx there and all the guys that uh, in the post office and all the delivery people out there that are working so hard this time of the year. Merry Christmas to, to you all and Merry Christmas to you, Matt. Nice take there. Appreciate that very much. Here's a um, an interesting take <laughs> on the text here. And this is from Ro- Royden from Spanish Fork. Uh, is that in New Mexico, a Spanish Fork? I don't know where that is. But know. anyway, if they had a college uh, football team, then... Uh, Adam would know. Adam but, uh, would know, yeah. But, yeah. Spanish fork? Yeah, no, we, Adam, but, no, we, but, no. but they don't, so we don't. It's not <laughs> Michigan, so it doesn't matter, right? Yeah. yeah exactly. But uh, anyway, um, uh, it says, beware of holiday scams. I ordered some jewelry for my wife, and they sent me new fishing tackle instead. Oh, geez, Can you imagine yeah, that? Darn it. Yeah. Huh? Doggone it. I got caught by that same dude, man. <laughs> they were slick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Merry Christmas to you. Nice job there. That's Appreciate good it. One. All right. Well, I had another fun text come through, and this was just a real quick one. Hi, guys. Great year. Great show. Mark, I was hoping you could give me a recommendation on the size and style of bait tank for my brand new Parker Pilot House 25. That's from Ron and Poway. Oh, man, that is like the perfect boat. Parker 25, this is great. And uh, we do a lot of tanks on those. Most of them are a single 80, sometimes a double 80, sometimes the 90 teardrop shape. Those those are the most popular ones on that boat. And, you know, the boat being very beamy and typically having a lot of power, uh, you know, they can carry the bigger tanks with no problem. And uh, if you're looking to, you know, go offshore and do some of that tuna fishing where you want to, you know, carry a lot of bait, and you don't necessarily have to just because you have a bigger tank. You know, if you want to put one one or two scoops in for doing whatever, it's fine. But if you want to put three or four or five, then you have the ability to do so when you got a bigger tank. So, yeah, that, that would be probably my top choice, like that 90 ST for a single tank or an 80D for a double tank. And that is such a fantastic boat. Man, I, yeah, I wish I'd never great sold boat. mine. I know they are <laughs> yeah. are great boats, yeah. and and I, I'm sure they're still on back order. But I mean, West Coast Marine, oh, they'll take care of you, yeah. uh, no matter what. The guys yeah. over there, we miss Kevin a lot, oh. uh, but his son is, is is really doing a great job, and his whole family is doing such a great job up there at West Coast Marine. Not only up in Costa Mesa, but also down here, down in San Diego too. The West Coast Marine team, Parker Boats, Yamaha Outboards, nothing better. They're nothing really better. good customer service people. Phenomenal. You know what I mean? Like, they're just like really, beyond the best. really good follow through, really easy to work with. We obviously have a lot of customers that, you know, yeah. are buying new boats from them. And over these last two years, there's a lot of boats purchased. And, like, you just hear the same thing. Like, you know, there's four guys in the tackle store that all have Parkers from West Coast Marine. And so you, know, you just hear of other guys through the, oh, we're getting new gear for our new boat. And you hear they, they got a boat from the boys down there. And it's just, yeah, you, you hear yeah. really good follow up. And as we all know, being boat owners, 
it's not it's not if it's when something's going to go wrong. Oh, right? they're boats. Yeah. They're boats, man. And, yeah. and, and so you need that good customer service totally. that West Coast Marine provides. Yeah, no doubt so. about it. Well, hey, the phone lines are packed. Everybody's uh, excited to get back through. We're going to jump right back into it. This time, we're going to talk to Bruce. He's calling us from Lemon Grove this morning. Hi, Bruce. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, I don't know if you heard, but Let's Talk Hookup has the word. With Pete and Rick and Corey carrying the news, what's hot? Tackle bait. What to use? Dorado and Bluefin, oh, what a year. With another year in the books, one thing's for sure, that sock cookup's going to keep us hooked. At Merry Very Christmas. Nice. There you go. Nice job, nice. Bruce. Uh, yeah, Merry, good Merry job. Christmas. Yeah. Short, good creative, yeah. well read. Yeah, good job, indeed. buddy. And he's like right down the street from Lemon Grove Bait and Tackle I've, there, the right? new Lemon Grove. I bet Bait you I know which, uh, which one of those 75s Bruce would be picking. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Hey, Merry yeah. Christmas to you. Thanks, Bruce. That's awesome. All right, how about we jump right back into it? And this time we're going to talk to Dave Connors from Poway this morning. Hi, Dave. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Merry Christmas, boys. You too, Dave. We've got a Let's Talk Hookup Christmas Carols playlist for you this morning. So here we go. Like many, I'll be home for Christmas with no twin engine sleigh ride for now. Let's embrace this winter wonderland. Soon enough, we'll be back at the bow. God rest ye, merry gentlemen. Let nothing you dismay. I saw three ships come sailing in, lights shining in the bay. For the 12 days of Christmas, let's make it a holly jolly old time. We'll gather the crew, and that includes you, and strike up some caroling tunes. It's the most wonderful time of the year. What's better for Christmas time cheer than singing Jingle Bell Rock and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Then there's Frosty the Snowman. Of course, Santa is coming to town. Do you hear what I hear? Silver bells and jingle bells, favorites all around. We need a little Christmas. Deck the halls with Christmas bling. Let's get rocking around the Christmas tree. Hark the herald angels sing. Oh, come, all ye faithful. We wish you a Merry Christmas, boys and girls. And a silent night, holy night, joy to the world. Merry Christmas to all. That's it. Hey, nice yeah. job. Wow. Merry right. Christmas, Dave. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Appreciate that very much. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk hookup coming your way, including checking in with the Kids Report. We'll see if we can get Marcos from the radio to sing us a little poem or a yeah, song. You yeah, you think? <laughs> we yeah. got more Let's Talk hookup coming your way in the Mighty Year 1090 ESPN Radio. Mark your calendar for what promises to be the most exciting sports show of the year. It's the all-new, bigger, and better 13th Annual Pacific Coast Sports Fishing Tackle Boat and Travel Show March 2nd to the 5th at the OC Fair and Events Center in Costa Mesa. Check out hundreds of sport fishing exhibitors, manufacturers, tackle dealers, fishing boats, fishing resorts, taking up the entire fairgrounds, plus fabulous seminars and a free kids trout pond. This year, the PCS show has added freshwater exhibitors and seminars to cover bass, trout, and fly fishing. Learn new fishing techniques from some of the top names in the sport fishing industry from catching giant bluefin tuna, swordfish, calico bass, and more. Take advantage of incredible show specials from major tackle retailers and boat dealers. Talk to great fishing travel destinations. Four full days, Thursday, March 2nd to Sunday, March 5th. The 13th Annual Pacific Coast Sport Fishing Tackle Boat and Travel Show at the OC Fair and Events Center in Costa Mesa. Don't miss it. One of the dream trips for most anglers is Alaska. There are so many lodges. How do you make a choice? It's easy. Choose the one most Let's Talk Hookup listeners return to time after time. Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, and the finest charter captains in Sitka. All for the ultimate value. One visit and you will understand why nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. Sitka is famous for some of the best runs of salmon in Alaska. And if just giant Alaskan halibut is your target. The expert captains at Kingfisher Charters know the hot spots and can put you on a fish of a lifetime. Plenty of rockfish and huge ling cod are there too. And when it comes to fish processing, the best in Alaska is Kingfisher Charters. It's all included in your package. In fact, everything is included except tips. It is truly amazing how the Kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year. Kingfisher Charters, 800-727-6136 or check kingfisherchartners.com. It's like Thomas Edison, Bob Euchre, Thor, and Willy Wonka had a love child. This is the Mightier 1090 AM ESPN Radio.
Everyone is always looking for the new hot lure. You know, the ones that are really putting fish on the boat. Right now, the bluefin tuna bite is on. And the Shimano Pop Orca and Pop Orca Slim are getting the job done. The Pop Orca features Shimano's unique bubble chamber, an open mouth design based on how a jet engine turns low pressure into high pressure. The bubble chamber forces water through the chamber and shoots it out of the top of the lure to create more commotion than conventional popper style lures. This unique design makes Pop Orca and Pop Orca Slim much easier to work with than conventional pop. With through wire construction and high tensile strength hooks, Shimano's Pop Orcas can stand up to large bluefin tuna. Plus, Shimano's Jet Boost technology helps anglers increase casting distance so you can reach the foamer easier. The Shimano Pop Orca and Pop Orca Slip. Get them now at your local Shimano dealer. If you get back to the lawn tramp and need extra power to run your electric tool or charge a battery, your San Diego County Ford dealer has the answer. The Ford F-150 truck now has available Pro Power on board to use your truck as a mobile generator. You will find this amazing feature on the Ford F-150 truck so useful in many different ways. What about powering a fridge or a freezer to get your fish home? Visit your San Diego County Ford dealer to learn more. They'll be glad to hook you up. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we built the vehicles of the future for everyone. Command the road with built Ford Tough trucks. Gear up and head out in a Ford SUV. Or check out Ford's adventurous new lineup like Bronco, Bronco Sport, and Maverick. Order your perfect truck or SUV built for you by you. Or get big cash back, low APR, and exclusive lease offers at your local Ford stores. Where the future is for everyone. 